Whitney was an inspiration to so many, and she influenced another superstar, the one and only Celine Dion, who said that when she got her start, she wanted to be like Whitney. And Celine, so great for you to join us on the phone right now. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It is great. We really appreciate your time, Celine. And I remember during that interview with Oprah in 2009, uh, you spoke directly on tape to Whitney, and you said that you grew up listening to her and, and um, that everything you sang, everything that she sang, inspired you. What kind of influence did she have on you and your music? Oh, my God. Well, first of all, I'm sorry that we talked this morning. Um, I wish it could have been about something else. Um, Whitney's been an amazing inspiration for me. I've been singing with her my whole career, actually. I wanted to have a career like her, sing like her, look beautiful like her. <laughs> um, it's just very unfortunate that um, that drugs and, I don't know, bad people or bad influence took over. It took over her dreams, it took over it took over love and motherhood. I mean, when you when you you know you think about Elvis Presley and, and Marilyn Monroe and Michael Jackson and Amy Winehouse. I mean, how, to to get into drugs like that for whatever reason is it because of the stress, stress and bad influence? What go? What happens? What happens when you have everything? What happens when you have love, the support, the family? motherhood you have you have responsibilities of a mother and then something happens and it destroys everything yeah. uh there's something that happens that i don't understand and that's why i'm so scared i'm scared of i'm scared of show business i'm scared of drugs i'm i'm scared of hanging out and that's why i don't do parties and that's why i don't hang out that's why i'm not part of show business because uh I'm, we have to be afraid it's and it, it is a demon, uh, as you know, Celine. That many, not just in the in the public's eye, but that many um, face and and battle. And it's interesting to hear you say that this is something that you think about, and you're such a family person, and that's part of the reason why you don't go to to parties and such. What, what do you think her music, um, how her loss? Uh, can you express what it means to you and what it means to the music world? Her loss. You know, when, when, when music helps or when music changes the lives of a lot of people, you know, I'm, I'm very I'm sure that her music has helped a lot of people. Um, you know, music is therapeutic and it's helping a lot of wonderful people. I mean, I'm sure she's met kids and parents who went to her before and after shows saying to her that her music has been an inspiration and, you know, if I refer to my own experience with music, meeting with young kids and mothers who come to us and say that they've, they've had some troubles in their lives and our music has been helping them to achieve or to go through uh, things in life and uh, being sick and listening to artist music and that, you know, when I do performances and people come to me and say, you know, I've lost my dad, or I've lost uh, uh, a member of my family, or I'm, I'm going through cancer right now, and I'm listening to your music, and you're helping me out. Music is very therapeutic, but her music will travel for the rest of time. But it's just tragic that she cannot even be part of it anymore. It is tragic. Um, it, it's tragic, and her music will live forever, but it's not enough. I mean, it's just... Time after time, we lose people. Lose them much and too soon. It's too soon, and it's ne there's no time for that. No. I mean, taking pills to go perform, and taking pills to wake up, and taking pills to go to bed, and taking drugs to... I mean, it's so unfortunate. And I've always said and, and that you have to have fun and do music and never be part of you can never be part of show business because you don't know what it's going to get into yourself into um you have to do your work and have fun and get out of there well so I, what makes you fall into going out with the wrong people and i mean she's had a family 
Oh, she has a very loving. Oh, Celine. Yeah, Celine. Yeah, she has a very loving family. They 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 reached out to her many times, and it's a demon that's that right. unfortunately. That's, that's, that's it. right. No, so no. what happens? I mean, how come it's stronger than all that? It's yeah. stronger than family, than than mm. motherhood, than love itself. Mm. Many What's lessons going on. Many lessons we still have to learn. You are always so open and good with us, Celine. Thank you very much. And you said it best. Music does soothe the soul. And her music is doing that, and your music always does that for us as well. Celine, thank you. All the best to you. Thank you very much for joining us.